Hey Pisces, welcome to Wild Pearl Terra. Welcome to your love reading and the treehouse today. I really appreciate you joining me and um, I want to get right into it. First, I want to say thank you so much for giving this tarot reading a chance. There's a lot of really great videos out there, so I appreciate your time. And if you'd like for me to send you my good juju and my prayers, say hi in the comment section. So I've got something legitimately that represents you I can focus on. And I encourage everybody else to join in too. This is a positive and safe space for everybody. And I seal that with my word and my, uh, my intention here. So all the cards have been prayed over and pre-shuffled with you in mind. And we're asking about love for Pisces. What can they expect? Where is, where is Pisces at with love? Tarot. Stick around to the very end. That's when I'll be getting advice for you from the Oracle, which is really helpful. Oh, wow. Interesting, you guys. Wow. Okay. So what you're heading into is very new. And um, you're coming out of, I feel that this Five of Swords and the Five of Cups, there's tarot pointing something out to you, Pisces, that you are no stranger to disappointment and you're no stranger to conflict and wounds in the realm of love. What's interesting about is this reading is that the full card comes out with the Ten of Pentacles. This is saying that what you're about to enter is long-term. So long-term stability in particular because of the pentacles. What you're going to be building will be lasting most likely the rest of your life. Whether this is you focusing on um, work, uh, building stability with a partner and a home, building a family, finding a new partner that you want to stick around with for the long haul. That's where we're at. Okay. So there's, this is, this is um, kind of deep already. <laughs> All right. Clarity on the Fool. Unpack this for me. For Pisces, we have the wheel. This could be somebody who is coming back into the picture, I just have to say. Um, the Wheel of Fortune talks about karma. You're always exactly where you're supposed to be. And that's the relief with the wheel. It's like, ah, oh, that's just good to know. Whether it's good or bad, you know you're exactly where you're supposed to be at the right time. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay, why about, tell me about this Four of Cups. Okay. This is what I'm getting, you guys. Somebody might be coming back from the past, but you, there's no way in hell that you'd be entering any kind of relationship with them the way you were or the way it was before. And you're going to make that known. Because I think there's going to be a little bit of a triggering effect of um, you're going to get a chance to see what hasn't quite healed yet. Which is helpful because then you know where to put the band-aid or where, you, where to put the ointment, we'll say the healing ointment. So you're standing by your guns and you're willing to grow in this area. Sorry for the loud noise in the background. There's a loud truck in the background. So you, when you get this offer, when you get, when this, when this new start comes around, allow yourself to feel the feels because that's all part of the process. And you may be apathetic. You may not feel really excited about it. And it may be that that is just the perfect thing to launch you into this new direction. And it doesn't have to come in the form of a human being. For some of you guys, it will. It'll be like an ex or somebody from your past coming back. But it could be a set of circumstances that... You don't necessarily want to take this offer, but it reminds you of something because it triggers something. So um, it shows you a new direction that you want to go into. And in a way, I know this is a weird reading so far. Bear with me. In a way, that is your launch. That is the moment you start this new journey as the fool. And the fool is the very beginning of this big adventure that leads to something you're building towards the long term. What is this? Five of Swords. This is conflict. This is, could be a fight. Could be inner conflict. Let's find out. 
There's an individual here, the, the Queen of Pentacles, could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Something around building a future or looking out towards the future, starting a new plan. There's been some conflict around. And that's because I think that there is, you can't rush something here because it's still like um, transforming with the, the temperance card ruled by Sagittarius energy. So it, there might be, there might have been some scruples, some disagreements or some conflict. Um, and why did that happen, right? Well, it's because I think that there was a pressure moving forward and it was too soon. There was something that needed to evolve. The things, things needed to land in their place. Things needed to settle um, and balance before they moved forward. And I think that was kind of at the heart of these, these conflicts. So that's popping up in your reading. And only you know why. But the tarot is going to build this out. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about that. It's so funny. Here it is again. I got to scratch my foot. I don't know why it's itching, but I don't when I usually, my nose itches like crazy when um <laughs> when the tarot is telling me to pay attention to something. But Pisces, you know what? You know, Pisces rolls over the feet. See how I'm connecting those dots? I had an itchy foot and I'm going to take that as a good sign. So here we come back around to the same message that we heard right here with the Fool. The beginning of your journey towards stability, building something long-term, the future and love starts with leaving something behind. What an interesting way to start a journey. It's this thing like, so when you, it's like an offer coming and you're not super excited about it, but it is reminding you of something. It's triggering something and it's connected to an old wound. Maybe it was an old way, an old you, an old version of you. And, and now you're like, you have more self value maybe. Maybe you're way more connected to your intuition. You'd make different choices but you are not budging from who you've become. Either way, whoever that is has fully left something behind and that allows them to build something healthy and wealthy and stronger in their relationship in the future. We've got Page of Swords. Being willing to, this is verbally processing something. This is, ha. <laughs> You might get an opportunity to work this out, talk about it, hear about it, verbally process it. And it's this five of pentacles connected to um, value versus being shut out, being deprived, not having those you love around you, not having those you love love you the same way. All of that. It's like you are basically raising the bar in your life and leaving something behind and that opens up the door to this new adventure and love. Five of Cups, what is Five of Cups for us? There was something that was completely out of your control and it might have taken you by surprise. Um, it, it left you grieving a loss. It left you maybe disappointed. And out of the rubble comes the Knight of Wands. We've got the King of Swords. Give me a new duck. This has got such like rise of the phoenix energy to it, you guys. Are you feeling that? And the world. I think you don't expect this. <laughs> I think it's like this catalyst. The cal catalyst was not comfortable. Something that happened, shook you up, and you had to think on your toes. The tower card is always meant to be. It's always there to kind of set you on a new set of tracks set you on new tracks going in a different direction. We don't always have the ability as human beings to orchestrate such intricate things in our lives. The universe has to work with us, shake things up. And it's really annoying when it happens or sometimes frightening. Um, but in this case, out of the rubble of this falling tower comes an offer, comes this night could be male, female, anybody in between. It's not connected to gender. And it's maybe from a distance from you. What is this? This is fascinating. Bear with me, you guys. Yeah. 
putting de putting an end to a cycle, death card with a devil card, something, I feel like this is a long distance relationship for a lot of you guys. Long distance relationship you're putting an end to, it's just too much time, too much effort. And maybe you trauma bonded with them. Maybe there is a reason they came into your life at the perfect time and they serve their purpose. Uh, maybe you need that distraction, whatever it was, you know, it all was synchronized with, um, I think a loss, a sense of grieving that was there before them, you know, but even though you've connected with this person, uh, sometimes it probably feels quite deeply. There's more of by sticking with it, it's going to be exhausting again with a foot itch on the top of my foot. So funny. Um, by sticking with it, I think you're just going to be feeling like you're putting in too much time. Seven of Pentacles upside down. It's like, are you going to get back what you put in? Do you see this long term? That's why there's so much emphasis. Okay. That's why there's so much emphasis on the Ten of Pentacles. You are building something long term the moment you leave this thing. And I know that if this is meant to reach your ears and it's resonating it's resonating inside for a reason, you know. All tarot is is a vehicle for exploration of our inner emotions and our emotional map, right? So if it's not resonating, you know, throw it out. But if it's resonating, this long distance relationship, even if it's if, if it's not physical distance, maybe there's something about the connection that feels far away. But it, this is a chance where you are looking at your energy, this allotment of energy that you have, precious energy because we can use it up and become exhausted. But this is all we have. It's like a video game, right? Where you boom, 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 you get all energized up and you have that much before the battery dies. So what are you gonna use it towards? Because this, this union, this long distance relationship, I think it served its purpose. Maybe it was getting you out of grief or a shakeup, something that happened suddenly. And out of the rubble comes this you know, knight or princess or anybody you want to call them in shining armor to kind of pick you up, swoop you off your feet. But now you're realizing, okay, well, I don't see where we can build something here long term. And that's the moment where you um, realize you can let go. You can go into the unknown with a fool card. And yes, is it triggering? Yes, is it triggering? Because there was might have been a trauma bond there. There's more healing, you realize, it, to do. And it's the healing that they couldn't do. No matter how thick their armor was, their shining armor. It was that it was work that you had to do all along. But you're doing it perfectly at the exact perfect time you're supposed to. So remember to keep that in perspective. To give yourselves a pat on the back to go forward and build something really strong. You have to work on the foundation and now it's time to work on this part of it. You've done a lot of work. So remember to pat yourselves on the back. Really good things are coming. Let's get um, a romance angel card for you guys. I love this deck. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. That's specific. What else for Pisces? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime that you're headed towards. All right, you guys. Sending off with love and light, good energy. Pray for each other. Pray for yourselves. Be good to one another. Bye.